Most people never bother to learn about bond investing, but they are quick to research everything about the stock market and real estate investing. And this is probably why most people are poor. Don't be like most people. Listen and learn about bonds in this video. Understanding bond investing is critically important to any investor, and some of the richest people on Wall Street made their money in bonds. Investing in bonds has become more popular recently with highly skilled investors because the Fed has increased interest rates at a dramatic pace. When interest rates rise, bonds become more attractive because of the following. First, the investor can buy new bonds with a higher yield. And it is always nice to make more interest on your investment, obviously. Second, when the investor buys a new bond at a higher yield, there is a reasonable expectation that the Fed, in the not too distant future, will lower interest rates. This is the typical market cycle. The Fed will raise rates to fight inflation, then lower rates to combat a recession. And when interest rates eventually go down, the price of your existing bond goes up. Therefore, you have the potential to win in two ways when investing in a bond during a time of higher interest rates. You win immediately by getting a higher yield, and then you win in the future when the value of the bond goes up as a result of the Fed lowering rates. One strategy for bond investing is creating a bond ladder, which involves investing in a series of bonds with different maturity dates. Bond ETFs are another option for investors looking to invest in bonds, offering the benefits of diversification and liquidity. To create a bond ladder, an investor first needs to determine their investment goals and risk tolerance. This will help them to decide how long they want to hold the bonds and what types of bonds they want to include in their ladder. Once these factors have been determined, the investor can begin building their ladder by purchasing bonds with a range of maturity dates. For example, if an investor wants a ladder with five rungs, they could purchase bonds with maturities of one, two, three, four, and five years. This allows the investor to have a steady stream of bond income as the bonds mature, rather than having all of their bonds mature at the same time. It is important to note that the longer the maturity of the bond, the higher the yield will typically be. Although this is not always the case, especially when there is an inverted yield curve. This also means that longer dated bonds will be more sensitive to changes in interest rates as compared to shorter issues. If interest rates rise, the value of longer term bonds will likely fall quickly resulting in a potential loss for the investor if the bond is not held to maturity. In addition to purchasing individual bonds, investors can also create a bond ladder using bond ETFs. Bond ETFs are a type of investment fund that tracks a basket of bonds, offering investors diversification and liquidity. There are various types of bond ETFs available, including those that focus on a specific type of bond, such as corporate bonds or government bonds, or those that invest in a broad range of bonds. Some bond ETFs are actively managed, while others are passively managed, tracking an index such as the Bloomberg Barclays U.S. Aggregate Bond Index. One advantage of using bond ETFs to create a bond ladder is that they can be bought and sold on an exchange, allowing for easy liquidity. This is especially useful for investors who want to adjust their bond portfolio as market conditions change. Another benefit of bond ETFs is that they offer diversification across multiple bonds, reducing the risk of investing in a single bond. This can be especially useful for investors who are new to bond investing or who don't have the time or resources to research and select individual bonds. However, it is important to note that bond ETFs may not offer the same level of yield as individual bonds, as the ETF's expense ratio and management fees may reduce the overall return. 
It is also important to carefully research the specific bond ETF being considered and ensure that it aligns with the investor's goals and risk tolerance. For example, you need to understand the bond ETF's average effective maturity. Probably the most popular bond ETF is the Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF, ticker symbol BND. It has an average effective maturity of 8.9 years. This means that its average bond matures in 8.9 years. When a bond matures, that means it is repaid by the issuer. The reason why average effective maturity is important is because the longer the average maturity, the more a fund's share price will move up or down in response to changes in interest rates. With the Vanguard Total Bond Market ETF, with its 8.9 year average effective maturity, you can expect the share price of the ETF to fall about 2% when interest rates rise by one percentage point. Conversely, the share price would rise by about 2% when interest rates fall by one percentage point. Therefore, you need to understand your risk tolerance and investment timeline when deciding on a bond ETF. It is our opinion here at Whiteboard Wealth that if you are young, say under 40 years old, you should have more of a risk appetite and invest in a bond ETF with a higher average effective maturity, such as the Vanguard Long-Term Bond ETF, ticker symbol BLV, which has an average effective maturity of 22.9 years. This is just one option for a longer-term bond ETF, and there are lots of options out there. Creating a bond ladder is a strategy for investors looking to diversify their bond portfolio and earn a stable stream of income. By purchasing bonds with different maturity dates, investors can potentially mitigate the risk of having all their bonds mature at the same time. Bond ETFs offer another option for bond investing, offering the benefits of diversification and liquidity, but it's important to carefully research the specific ETF being considered and understand the potential fees and risks involved. We strongly recommend that the next thing you do right now is watch our video on the Barbell Investing Strategy. If you take the information from this video and combine it with the information provided in our video on the Barbell Investing Strategy, you will be ahead of 99% of investors. You will have a solid foundation for your investing future.